Hi, I'm Bob Sorensen with SVI Trucks. Today I'd like to show you Calgary's new hazmat trucks. Calgary just bought three new hazmat trucks from SVI Trucks. This makes a total of 20 trucks in the city of Calgary. So we really appreciate Calgary's business over the past few years and look forward to, uh, to uh, new trucks that will be delivered there here real soon. So these trucks are specialized for hazardous materials response. And we've got various trays and shelves to, uh, to hold each piece of, of specialized equipment that they'll be storing on these trucks. This is going to carry some um, uh, class, or excuse me, chlorine kits on the on the trays and shelves. Spare air bottle storage and or fire extinguisher storage. And again, we just have lots of specialized trays and shelves to store all of their equipment for their hazardous materials response. The side of the vehicle also has uh, receivers here that they'll be able to slide a portable winch into and they'll use that portable winch for moving around the overpack drum or the salvage drums. This side rear compartment has three tool boards and they've all been perforated with a water jet to allow them to uh, mount some of their tools and equipment on these uh, tool boards. A little bit easier with the perforation on them. And again, just more open storage for some of their specialized equipment. The slide out tray actually carries the 9,000 portable winch that'll be used in the four different tie offs that are located around the perimeter of the vehicle. In this compartment are the command light controls, and this allows you to uh, manipulate, raise, lower, and uh, rotate the light tower to the proper location when you're on scene. We're standing on the inside of the hazmat truck. This forward area is used primarily for donning and doffing of uh, SCBA and hazmat suits. We've got some uh, storage that's been put in place here for some of their personal items and gear that they might need to uh, just keep on the truck. This truck does have vertical exhaust, so we're routing the vertical exhaust stack through the body in this location up to the roof. It has a 12 volt, 120 volt refrigerator. And we've just got some miscellaneous cabinet storage on the interior on both sides. This one has a full roll-up door and then of course the whole back of the vehicle over the rear of the compartment uh, or the rear center compartment has uh, just equipment storage. You can access the roof through this if you needed to. It's not necessary. The only thing that's up there is the uh, light tower and there's a weather station. The weather station is actually all controlled right here from the ground. There's a skylight above me here so I can actually see the uh, weather station raising up and or the light tower from this location if I want to just double check before uh, anything gets raised. The hazmat truck was built on a Spartan uh, extended long four-door cab with a 20-inch raised roof. We're standing right now in the back of the cab. This is just a, a straight desk that's been provided back here with one seating position. We've got uh, cabinet storage for some of their reference material that they might use when they get on scene. There's also uh, an inverter system here that, that uh, heats up all of the outlets in the back of the cab while they're responding. Um, and we also have uh, cabinet storage over here for some of their uh, monitors and detectors that they would use on scene. This truck is equipped with a special exhaust system. I already told you about the vertical exhaust that kind of channels up through the, uh, the interior of the body. But it's horizontal, so the default is to a horizontal exhaust system. And this truck is equipped with an awning on the side of the vehicle. So when you're working on this side of the vehicle and the awning is extended, you can actually direct the exhaust to the vertical location so you don't have to put up with the fumes while you're working underneath the awning. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of what Calgary Fire Department is doing in the way of a hazardous materials response truck built by SVI Trucks. Don't forget to check us out at www.svitrucks.com. Thanks for watching.